Ladies and gentlemen, it is your fellow CA commentator, Andrew Schiss Jr. here for the JB Week 2 Spring 2023 Valorant Match of the Week stream. Uh, sorry if the titles are a bit misleading. I forgot to change them this morning. Uh, I'm in the process of changing them now, so they should be updated shortly. Uh, for today's Match of the Week, we have Horlich Davy Scarlet team taking on the Central City Cyber Tigers. Mouthful of a team name, but just wait till you see their logo. Uh, before I get into the notes, though, we are currently waiting on communication from Cyber themselves. It's the only thing we are waiting on now. Horlick JV Scarlet is currently warming up. I am currently at NYPB. Uh, we are just waiting on communication from Cyber. Uh, nonetheless, though, if this match does indeed happen, here are the notes. JV Week 2, as I previously said, Racine Horlick Scarlet taken on Central City Cyber 2. So the Horlick Rebels, Division 1, the only division in... Uh, JB Valorant. Players consist of Eli Rokan, Austin Derby Kids, Tanisha Unknown Coda, Wilberto, Ute Baki, and Hallis. Zappy Hates 543, the fine IT youth apprentice from Horlick High School. Winter 2023 stats. Regular season. Have not played a game yet as they did not play against Lake Mills in week one as Mills was on spring break. Moving on over to Central City Cyber High School. Their second JV team. Same division as Horlick, obviously. Uh, players consist of Brian Wanted, Michael Mikey, Darion AG, Lathmer Solo, and Vante. Winter 2023 stats, regular season 0-1. They lost to Williams Bay via forfeit last week. Hopefully they don't have to forfeit again this week. But I'd like to see some action. Now, here are... I do this every week with the note sheets, as you can see the logos are in the middle, but take a look at that Cyber High logo, the Cyber Tigers. That is, to me, that's a top five esports logo in Wasia for sure. I just hope I can see these guys play. Because they have the logo that looks the part. So yeah, once again, if you're misconceived by this stream, as it has League of Legends titles, don't be, because this is the JV Week 2 Match of the Week stream for Valorant. Again, currently waiting on communication from Cyber. If you were not able to tune into the stream last Tuesday for Varsity Week 2, it was a good old inner city rivalry between Case and Horlick. Case came out on top again on the mainstream, winning 13-7 over the Rebels. Every single time I've casted Case versus Horley, Case just finds a way to win. There you go. Looks like stream titles are updated now. So that's good. Uh, since I have more time to kill here, I was actually able to go see uh, the Mario movie last night with my father. It was amazing film was great all the references that were in there were and don't, and don't worry it'll be spoiler free what i'm about to say now but yeah it's just, it's just in general a very good very fun movie to watch so i recommend that anybody watching this that has not seen the mario movie go see it because it's great and don't get deceived by chris pratt being mario because he did a great job as mario although most people like myself wanted uh, martin a to voice Mario and Luigi, but that didn't happen, obviously, as Chris Pratt and Charlie Day took over those roles. Also, Jack Black did a great job. Anya Taylor-Joy as well. Keegan-Michael Key, of course. Can't forget about him. But yeah, overall, it's just a, a charming film that, you know, many people are going to like, and that 55% Rotten Tomato score can uh, go somewhere else because that's not an accurate accurate judgment whatsoever i mean the audience score is 96 percent it's right up there with the sonic the hedgehog 2 movie so it just goes to show how success oh yeah and another metric as well i apparently made 67 million in the first day their opening day 
I'm gonna tell you, an opening like that on a Wednesday, that's insane. Usually you'd see that uh, amount of money being made on a weekend opening, but I can only imagine what the weekend's gonna be. Mario movie is gonna be raking in some serious dough, I can tell you that. Still awaiting any word from Cyber here. I'll just flip it to the game capture for right now. The lovely overlay. Rebels on the left side, at least for now, and the Tigers on the right side. If need be, I will switch them around. I, I recall last year I did not do a good job of that, so I will be sure to monitor that, monitor that as best I can. Probably just do that during the buy phase of one of the rounds. But uh, yeah, it'll be another game on the Lotus map. Henry did a good breakdown of that of this map last Tuesday. And he unfortunately won't be here today, so it'll just be me riding it solo. And uh, as far as the next match in the Winter 2023 Rocket League Gauntlet goes, the tentative date is still April 17th. If anything changes, you will be informed one way or another. Whether it be through stream, social media, I'll keep you covered. Alright, I will try to go figure out what is going on now. I'll be back. All right, I have returned. There is still no word from Cyber, so let's hope that they get back. And uh, again, let's hope this match doesn't get canceled because that'd be such a cool esports logo going to waste for two straight weeks, man.
in the uh, sports entertainment world, there has been some controversy with the WWE as well as Vince McMahon is apparently back in power as Triple H was head of creative. So I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully things ease down because I think last Monday's Raw was the worst rated show possible. It was a .63 on whatever rating skill they used, but yeah, it was pretty bad, so... Hopefully, tomorrow's SmackDown episode is better. And it wouldn't be a Wasia stream without a technical difficulty, problems with communication, all that fun jazz as the League of Legends stream I believe got cancelled as well due to Southwest not being able to show up. It was Waukesha South versus Southwest yesterday for the League of Legends crew over here at Wasia. It's unfortunate that they couldn't cast their game and it'll be unfortunate if I can't cast this one as well. But uh, once we have word on what's going to happen with this matchup, I will pass it along to you all. The good thing is I am on spring break now, finally. I think all the other, I think the colleges around Wisconsin already had their spring break. So I think... Horlick is, or RUSD for that matter, is one of the last school districts to have their spring break. And I'll be off until April 17th, and then the week I come back, I announce baseball for Horlick against Oak Creek on the 21st, and I also have an AP research presentation to do as well. Uh, it is on emotional effects of violent video game play from or between, I should say, eSports and non-eSports plays. A very, very cool experiment. So I think once I'm done presenting that uh, for my exam, if you will, uh, I might share it out and have everybody see what I came up with with that because under the most excruciating circumstances, I was able to put something together here for that project, and I'm very proud of it. So... Hopefully I'll be able to share it out with you guys once I get that presentation done. Because I'd like, a, I'd like a lot more people to see it. Not going to go into full details for confidential reasons. Still crickets on the side of the cyber tigers as we still haven't heard a, a peep from them. This Valorant season has been a journey for sure. We've had reschedules left and right over here at Horlick as most of the schools we were supposed to be playing are all on spring break. And if you're wondering about Horlick's JV Grey team, they won their match via forfeit. 
about a half hour ago as Lake Mills. Well, not forfeited. I think it was a reschedule for Lake Mills. Yeah, it was a reschedule for Lake Mills. My apologies. And we're live up on League Spot, but there is no game to be played, at least yet. So we're still waiting on word from Central City. If you're wondering where Central City Cyber High School actually is, it's near Lake Geneva, and it's, it's between Lake Geneva and Milwaukee, I believe. Oh, it actually is in Milwaukee. No, it is in Milwaukee. That's where Central City Cyber High School is. Now, before this, before I picked out this match, I did not know that Central City Cyber High School even existed. Let alone having a cool esports logo as well. That's 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 incredible. Let me just go over the rankings for JV so far. So Horlick JV Gray is leading with a 2-0 record, but there are three other teams with a 2-0 record, that being Williams Bay, Watertown, and Preble. Uh, there's a five-way tie for the number five spot with Kimberly, 1-0, racing Horlick JV Scarlet, number one, or 1-0, Two Rivers, 1-0, and, and I think that's Slinger, 1-0. Port Washington to finish things out. Freedom is one and one. Rib Lake is one and one. Case is one and two. Durand, Arkansas is one and two. And the rest have not played a game yet, or they have lost one. The teams that have lost one: Jefferson, Cyber Tigers, two, as they forfeited last week, and Lake Mills. Uh, let me go over the varsity statistics as well, just to keep you guys updated on what is going on here. And if you guys want to check the rankings for yourselves for the Valorant or League of Legends season, go to sia.leaguespot.gg. All right, sorry for that interruption. So, like I was saying before, Valorant statistics are on wasia.leespot.gg. You can view the stats for JV League of Legends, Varsity League of Legends, Varsity Valorant, and JV Valorant as well. So, let's go over stats for Varsity Division 1 of Valorant. Oak Creek is leading the pack 2-0, Waukesha South 2-0 as well. There's a five-way tie for first place. Oak Creek, Waukesha South, Case, Park, and Waukesha West are all 2-0. It's good to see Park in that 2-0 record as well. Very happy to see that for them. And then finishing off the list for Division 1, Watertown is 1-1, Bayport is 1-1. And, and the rest of the pack have not played or have lost one game. Appleton East, Horlick, Preble, Appleton North. 
Uh, not sure what AHS is. Oh, Arrowhead. Yeah, so many schools don't put their full school name in the display name, which is kind of frustrating. So Arrowhead's 0-1-1 and DeForce is 0-1-1. 0-2 teams consist of the Middleton Cardinals and the Southwest and Southwest High School. Uh, let's go to Division Two. I'm going to try to do a window capture here so you guys can see. Alright, give me one second here, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to see how that looks. Alright, there we go. Okay, so here we go. So we we'll see a dot leak spots right there. That's the site you go to to see all these statistics. You can scroll all the way down here and you see here are the rankings. This is where the rankings are usually going to be. This is Division Two Varsity. Fox Valley Foxes 2-0. West Salem 2-0. Seymour High School 2-0. Uh, GHS. That's Grafton. Oh, it's frustrating. I'm going to go all the way down now. So Grafton. Baraboo, Port Washington, Elkhorn, Reedsburg are all undefeated. WP is one and one. Wisconsin Lutheran is one and one. Two Rivers is varsity team not looking too hot as opposed to their JV team. They're 0 and 2. Jefferson's 0 and 2. Union Grove's 0 and 2. Slinger 0 and 1. Wilmont 0 and 1. Pius 11, 0 and 2, and Mount Horeb 0 and 2 as well. Finally, I'll bring in Division 3. So we still have a, a lot of time to kill here. Uh, if this match does not happen within the next 5 or 10 minutes, I will just call it. Durand, Arkansas 2 and 0. VHS, who is that? Valders. So Durand, Arkansas, Valders 2-0, Varsity Hornets 2-0, Freedom 2-0, Wisconsin Heights 2-1, Bruce 2-1, Walden 1-0. Interesting why they call themselves the Walden Wolves instead of the Walden Walnuts. It's a little bit weird to see. Uh, Bonduel 1-0, Lake Mills 1-0, Edgewood 1-0, Marshall 1-1, Flambo 1-1, Bigfoot 0-1, Nakusa 0-1. Lancaster 0 and 1. I uh, will lose Bay 0 and 1. Phillips 0 and 2. And Blackhawks winless as well. All right, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Today's match between the Horlick JV Scarlet and the Central City Cyber Tigers has been canceled as Cyber City has forfeited. With that result being said, I will be now and I will now be ending the stream. I have been your fellow CD commentator, Andrew Sis Jr. Be sure to tune in this upcoming Tuesday for Valorant Week.